Okay, so about five years ago, I made my top 10 favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! Normal Monsters list. And I've split it into two parts. And to be honest, when I look back on it, it sucked. Like, it really sucked. I did not need to make it that long as I should have, and I definitely did not need to make it into uh, two parts. So I'm thinking back now, you know what? That's definitely a top 10 list I could totally remake. Better than my previous version, because, oh my god, uh, did, what, did, uh, I just, I feel so disappointed with myself when I think about it back then now. So, now I think about it, I was like, alright, let's do it. Let's remake my top 10 favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! Normal Monsters, and just, and reamp it up a little bit, and just make some minor changes, and just make it a lot better. So here we go, this is my top 10 favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! Normal Monsters remake. Number 10, Tracodon. It is a T-Rex that is blue, and blue is my favorite color, not to mention it's a dinosaur, and a T-Rex, and dinosaurs are cool. Number 9, Dark Witch. This is the only uh, female looking normal monster I could find that I could really definitively say that is a waifu. Number 8, Fire Kraken. It is a kraken that breathes fire, which is badass. Number 7, Flame Champion. It is a knight wielding a fire shield which is badass number six gadget soldier i always liked the design it looked on this card with the missile launchers was holding and how it was posing and you know the design of you know how it looks you know mechanical looking for its soldier is and the thing on on its forehead i just always liked it not to mention i hold a personal connection with this card because it's one of the very first normal monsters i pulled from my very first Yu-Gi-Oh pack and i still have the exact same card to this day Number 5, Sky Scout, or Harpy Brother, whichever one it goes by, because there's two different names, because for some reason, Konami decided to give it two different names. Yeah, I just always liked the design it looked and the pose it had in, in this in this art, because, you know, it was a giant looking call, look, looking like it's just posing with the wings and the red and brown brown colors it gave it to it, it actually fits pretty well for this monster card. And not to mention, you know, it, it has the goth looking swag to it, which is also a bonus, because it actually looks, fits it pretty well, but, you know, Probably one of my favorite Winged Beast monsters I've ever seen, too, honestly. Number 4, Elemental Hero Sparkman. This is probably my favorite looking Elemental Hero design out of all the normal monsters besides from Neos. Uh, every time I looked at it, I always get, get, got the Static Shock vibes from it. Not to mention, you know, I like the lightning themed superheroes, especially for this one. I think it's one of the best looking designs when it comes to that. Number 3, Dark Magician. You can never go wrong with the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh! normal monster of all time besides from Blue Eyes. It's the most, yeah, it's iconic for a reason, because, you know, Dark Magician, it's a cool looking design, and, and you know, I like using Dark Magicians, besides from Blue Eyes and, and Heroes. Not to mention, it's like the most iconic, it has like 10 different prints, and most of them are actually pretty cool. So, yeah, Dark Magician, you can never go wrong with, you know, being a classic. And speaking of, you know, Blue Eyes, number two, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, the other most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh! monster of all time. I loved it ever since I first saw it, I especially love the designs of it. The reason I ranked this higher than Dark Magician because I always liked using Blue Eyes a lot more. I like the designs a lot more, especially from the reprints and other versions that's been reprinted as. And also just because in general, I like dragons! Finally, at number one, my main man, Elemental Hero Neos. I don't know why, but I always fell in love with this card when I first saw it, just when I first saw it in the show, and when I first grabbed my hands on it. I always loved how it was used in the show, and not to mention, you know, I like the design a lot, even though it seems very plain and basic. I don't know why, it's just, even though it's like that, I do just like the design of the heroesque design it does have to it. Not to mention, with the background feeling illuminating from space, illuminating some sort of hope as, you know, being a new element to hero when it first showed up on the scene. So, yeah, love that. Loved running Neo Spatians, and I still run Neo Spatians. It's one of my favorite archetypes besides from the main heroes. I just love using Neos in general. Just like how, you know, with Dark Magician and Blue Eyes, Neos is like one of my favorite normal monsters to use a lot. Even though it's not that great, it deserves a lot more credit than it should, and I really do hope this new support gives it more uh, more benefit than an event when it eventually comes out. But yeah, I always fell in love with Neos, like the design even though it's plain and simple. Just, you know, liking heroes in general, this is probably one of my favorite hero designs out of all the normal monsters, you know, and normal monsters in general, so you know. Seems like a weird of a number one, but I just love it from the designs it has and my personal connections to it. And I just love how I, I just run the Neo decks. So yeah, and that's my number one and that's my <laughs> top 10 favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! normal monsters.